Malaria mosquitoes can only transmit malaria when they are at least 10 days old. This is due to the long period of incubation required by the parasite to develop within the mosquito. The success of malaria vector control interventions like ITNs and IRS is therefore determined by the ability of these interventions to shift the age structure of mosquitoes to the younger non-infectious stages. Traditionally, to determine the success of these interventions, mosquitoes are dissected to estimate the number of times it has laid eggs. However, these techniques are not only time consuming but they are difficult to carry out. On the other hand, PCR techniques are used to estimate vector abundance and these techniques are also very expensive especially in resource limited areas. In this study, we propose to use a new tool known as the near infrared spectroscopy to simultaneously estimate the age and species identification of Anopheles gambi SS and Anopheles arabiensis. Near infrared spectroscopy is cost effective because it only takes 15 seconds to scan the head and thorax of one mosquito and the spectrum collected from this mosquito can be analyzed for both age and species identification, therefore saving time and cost. In this study, we therefore propose to use t this tool to assess the e efficacy control interventions in terms of the ability to shift the age structure of mosquitoes to the younger non-infectious stages as well as to reduce vector abundance as a cost and time effective tool.